Happy Thanksgiving, Chef Boy R. Tony. All right, y'all, I'm about to make some dressing, but I gotta call my mama for step by step. I'm using four of these. Would you take off that damn bonnet? No, I'm not taking my bonnet off. <laughs> I got four of these, okay? I'm making a big pan, but somebody, we won't say no names, LT, told me that we had big, what do you call these, big pans like this? But we don't. Aluminum. Aluminum. But we only have small ones, and I need a big one. So he's on his way to get us a big one. Now, my mom said, let me tell y'all what y'all need to make this dressing, okay? You need this. I don't know what this is called, but this is what you need. What is this called? Stock or something? Let me show y'all what he got. Let me see that. No, Let me see that. Mind your business. I am. I'm minding mind the business. business. It's Thanksgiving. Give me that. <laughs> it is 917. I guess he want to give thanks. No. For those that's not drinking at this time in the morning, you're also not dealing with Tony. <laughs> I'll get my pan, please. And don't forget the cranberry sauce. Okay, so you need this, a bell pepper, onion, celery, and those are the vegetables, okay? I have a whole chicken, like a small whole chicken. It's in the Instapot, okay? I'm cooking that in the Instapot for an hour because you're gonna shred that chicken up to go in the dressing. Ava knows how to make this dressing because she makes it with my mom so much. I didn't learn how to make it till last year. I never wanted to learn how to make it because I'm like, no, like why would I want to make dressing? It's a lot of steps. And y'all see my turkey right there? Disregard that, okay? We're not gonna talk about the turkey. This is going to take Worry about yourself. So, I'm adding all of the cornbread, all right? The chicken is in the Instapot. And it probably looked like this girl don't know what she's doing. I really do because I made this last year. Oh, let me tell y'all. Ava! I made this last year and it came out really good. It came out so good that I made it again on... Give me those two seasonings right there on the table. I made it last year for Thanksgiving. It was my first time and it came out perfect. That I did it so good that I made it again for um Christmas. So I need to do this four times. This is just the instructions. I'm just adding water for the cornbread. All right. So the chicken is in the Instapot. It's, my mom would say to boil the chicken, but I was like, oh, Instapot is so much faster. So I just boil it. I mean, I just put it in the Instapot for an hour. I add chicken broth and I add two chicken cubes. And then that's all you do with the chicken. So I'm going to make my cornbread. Now four packs of these makes one big pan of dressing. This is a small pan, but it makes one big pan, okay? And disregard that turkey in the background, guys. Don't worry about that turkey. It's just there. All right, so make the cornbread. Your chicken's on, you got the vegetables. You need sage, okay? And you need poultry seasoning. You also need regular bread, like sliced bread, and you need eggs. You're gonna have boiled eggs and raw eggs. But when we get to that step, I'll tell you. So for now, while you're making your cornbread, your chicken is in the Instapot, and when your cornbread is baking, then you are gonna use your fancy chopper and chop your vegetables, all right? But when we get to that step, I'll tell you. So now I'm just gonna 
whip it real good. Whip it, whip it real good. All right, guys. So now you're going to the cornbreads in the oven. I cleaned up. I'm cleaning as I go. Normally, I have a mess in the kitchen, but today I'm cleaning as I go. All right. So I didn't want to bring out my big chopping board. So I have the little one. I have six of pieces of these of the celery okay i have a half of onion you don't need a half of onion and then the stock that's what my mom said it's called the stock this green onion um she said mine were small so i need all of these okay so mine were small it came with three in the pack so she said i need all of these so <clears throat> normally she would just use two um of them but she said mine were small so use the whole thing and then also an entire whole entire a whole bell pepper okay and green bell pepper don't get a colored one get a green bell pepper so what you're going to do is you're going to chop all of this up okay bell pepper half of onion this is the other half of my onion so i had a small onion so half of onion and then also guys what i'm doing i'm experimenting so you can't find it it's in my bed go look in my bed um i'm also experimenting with jiffy cornbread with the dressing i'm making it in an entire separate pan because i only use the other cornbread mix when i make it but i've heard some people say like why don't you use jiffy so i'm like you know what i'm gonna try it out but i'm doing it completely separate i'm doing the same steps but i'm just doing it in a separate pan just to see like the taste of it and to see if i like it if i don't i'll just throw it out all right so again celery i have six pieces the stock i'm using the whole thing because mine was small half an onion bell pepper chop that that's the next step and then what you're going to do is you're going to end up boiling these vegetables on the stove but we'll get to that step next but for now just chop Chop it really fine. Is anyone else chopping onions? It's emotional. But, ooh, um, my chopper is not working right, so I resulted to good old faithful the knife. So I'm chopping the celery. I also forgot to tell you guys that you need cream of chicken soup and grab chicken broth too. Get five cans of cream of chicken soup because you'll need that for the dressing. You really need, I gotta look at the recipe, I don't remember, but just buy five, just in case. I always buy more than what I need, always, like an extra, just to be on the safe side. And also, I wanted to mention, since I am cooking a separate pan of Jiffy, I am using extra vegetables on the side. I'm not gonna take from the pan that I'm making. As far as like, I don't wanna throw off my ingredients, if that makes sense. So I'm doing an extra set of vegetables for my other pan of dressing. So anyways, I'm still chopping. It's time consuming, but I'm still chopping. All right, so I'm all done chopping. So that's the stalk, onion, celery, bell pepper. This is what the cornbread, in the bag look like you know just the regular cornbread and then this is the jiffy again i'm just experimenting because i'm really curious like what does this taste like now normally when i make jiffy cornbread i use milk and i'll put an egg i did add an egg just because that's the way that i always do it this one is just adding water but again jiffy is just for an experiment because i'm just really curious what it tastes like um and it didn't cost me anything extra like I had enough vegetables so that's why and then my extra vegetables for the other one are over there so again this is everything that I showed you the six pieces of celery the half of onion uh, all of the stock green onion and then one uh, bell pepper so that's all finely chopped and moving on to the next no step. you don't need to all right guys so this is the next step so you're going to boil your vegetables. So I poured all of them in a pot. Now I have two pots because I have two pans of dressing. So this is, this is what you do. So you're gonna boil these. It's gonna be about 30 minutes. So 
pour the vegetables in the pot and then cover the vegetables with water. So this is enough. Then you're gonna boil three eggs. You only need three eggs. I have five because I'm making another pan of dressing, but you only need to boil three eggs. All right, so I got three eggs boiling. <laughs> Shut up, I know. I said don't even talk about that no more. All right, guys, now you need four slices of bread. All right, so this is your big pan of dressing. So you need four slices of bread. And what you're gonna do now, well, what Ava's gonna do, cause she's the one that does this step, you are going to crumble all of this up because it's your dressing. So you're gonna crumble it up and you're also gonna break up the bread slices. You leave the ends on, you're just gonna make the bread slices. Um, you're gonna crumble those up as well, but I will show you, but crumble all of that up. No, I never use that one. This is how you're crumbling up the sliced bread. This is Ava's job. This is... LT's job just to sit here and annoy me. <laughs> With and mine. That's yeah. You had one last night, this, and those are mine. This this is a, this is a, a, a Tony blocker. Oh gosh. And I'm supposed whenever, to be thankful for you today on Thanksgiving. You're being bothered <laughs> by coupon with Tony. Take three of these. And call me in the morning. Shut up. All right, guys. So after Ava crumbled it all up, this is what it will look like. You're just crumbling up the cornbread and your pieces of sliced bread is in there. And that is the next step. All right, ladies. And if you have, or men, sorry. Yeah, sorry. Because men cook too. And some men are good, better than you. Shut your mouth. If you have a significant other, let me put it like this. Hopefully they will shred your chicken. Uh, some may probably watch your channel. I said if you have a significant other. They could be single men. You about to be a single man if you don't leave me alone. All right, so this is the chicken. It's all shredded. I boiled it in the Instapot. Who shredded the chicken? I said I boiled it. I said it's all I, shredded. And I said who shredded it? You shredded it. You forgot to add that part. I I just said in the beginning, mind the business that pays you. Leave me alone. So, he shredded the chicken, guys. Oh, my gosh. This is every day. He shredded the chicken, and this is how it's going to look. And then you are going to be adding this. But we haven't got to that step yet. I'm a one step at a time kind of person. So, Thank you for shredding my chicken. You're very welcome. All right, guys. So this is what your vegetables will look like. You don't want to make them too mushy, but this is what they'll look like. So you boil for about 30 minutes, and then you're going to drain the water. So, um, or drain the vegetables. So I dump the water. Also, if you if you didn't dump your water that you boiled the chicken in you're going to keep that if you already dumped it don't worry you can use chicken broth and then you're going to just mix everything now so let's go mix all right guys so now i have my vegetables i'm going to just mix these in here i'm gonna show you too what it looks like just want to make sure we get it all out because i stood over and chopped all this up we're using all of it then I crack the eggs and I cut the eggs up. So that's what that looks like. We're throwing those in there. Then you want to also add, you're going to be adding a, boy, a raw egg also, but I'm not doing that yet. Actually, you can. You're going to use two cans of cream of chicken. So if you got like the off brand, the Walmart brand, Publix, Winn-Dixie, whatever, it's totally fine. I'm using one of each, so. It does not matter about that. You're also gonna be... Oh, I know y'all like this girl did not know what she's doing. I really don't. But I know how to make this on my walks. I FaceTime my mom like every five minutes. Okay, what step are we on now? 
and I just do one step at a time. Like I don't do. She's like, okay, call me when you do the, when you're ready for the next step. All right, let me get my raw egg. And you're going to need your seasoning too, because this is when you're going to be adding the poultry and the sage. That's going to be to your likings. Call my mom because I forgot if it's one or two eggs. Hold on. I think it's two. And he was charged with use of firearm in connection with the crime of violence. FaceTime and my mama. That was really one of the serious charges. Ma. Okay, look. I ain't mixed it yet. Now, you said put two raw eggs? Yeah, this is the big pan. Okay, so I'm about to put the raw eggs, mix it, and then I add the, the seasoning. Yeah, the sage and the poultry to your taste. Yeah. And then I add the chicken last. Yeah. Okay, let me mix this and I'm going to call you back. Okay, bye. So, now I'm going to add the raw egg. Hold on. Make sure you don't get any shells in it. Trash cans right there. Actually, I could have just threw it in this bowl. And if a shell falls, like this little piece here, just take it out. Towel. And we're going to mix. There you go. So y'all can get a visual. Doesn't look good now. But oh baby, I promise it tastes good. And you probably don't want to do this with a plastic spoon. Babe, can you give me a fork? Or a spoon? I shouldn't have did this with this thing. What about spatula? Okay. I can't because I don't have bottoms. <laughs> I have pants on, but they're really short. So we're just gonna mix this. Thank you. All right, I'm gonna mix. And then we're going to come back and add the seasoning. You want to make sure you get all of your cream of chicken soup all around. Stir like that. What? And you're also going to be adding um, broth, add chicken broth as well. Or Did you will stir that for you? No. I can, this is my thing to make, not yours. I don't want you getting no credit for this. Also, so if you mess it up, I'm gonna get all the credit. Yeah. You're if it doesn't seem like oh my gosh it's too hard to mix, that's because you need to add the broth, or if you, like I said, you still have the. Oh my gosh, you're killing me! How you? Can you give me that chicken broth right there? The, the broth. It's right here, babe. I'm by the Instapot. The broth from the uh, chicken that you boiled. And if you threw it out, or if you didn't have enough, if you did it in the Instapot, don't worry. Just use regular chicken broth, it tastes the same. Now was that one cup or no, you, half a cup? No, you, it's to your likings. It's, it is, that part is to your likings. You you don't want it to be too, too runny, and then you don't want it to be, what is this, too unrunny, too thick. Give me it. That's why I say, let me see. It's bothering Cause you. Because you steady stirring and you ain't got all this. Let the cookologist want to come take over. I'm not a cookologist. 
see all that over there you ain't get in the cracks and crevices? Because I knew you was coming. While your, sig while your significant other is mixing, go ahead and add some poultry seasoning. Babe, can you open the sage? It should be on the other side of that bra. All right. And then we're going to add the sage, and you are going to have to taste it. See, this dressing actually doesn't take that long. It's just a lot of steps, the prepping. And here comes the sage. Oh, you could have dumped it. No, uh -uh. you won't let me mess it up. <laughs> then blame it on me. Okay, mix, and then I'm going to add more. You received a sentence of wife for... No, I am No. This is my family's recipe. You, if you want to make some, you don't even like dressing. You like stuffing. My, like my cousin say, don't add all that goddamn sage in there. But you adding all that goddamn sage in there. Because they make theirs to their likings and I make mine to mine, goddammit. it. Nobody ever goes back to the same. And by the way, guys, like me and my cousins were all in the group chat. And so hey, don't put no more of this shit. <laughs> we all use the same. We all this is our family's recipe for this dressing. So we all make it. Oh, wait, I wonder if my mom said you use. I don't remember. The whole thing. You used the whole thing of almost one of them. I think it's the sage. No. Hold on. Okay, guys. So this is what it will look like after you spread it, mixed everything. And it's the poultry season that you use the most of. It's not the sage. I don't know why I got them mixed up. But this is what you're going to use the most as far as adding it to your likings. You got to taste it. So now what you do is... You take your chicken and you just place it on top and you're going to use a fork and you're just going to like push it in there. You don't mix this anymore. You're just going to sprinkle the chicken and you're just going to push it in there with the fork and you're going to put it in the oven for like 20 or 30 minutes. Don't cover it with foil or anything. Because you want it to get like a golden brown on the top. I like a lot of chicken in mine. And I'm going to show y'all how you actually push it down with the fork. Like I said, you don't mix it. You just push it down in there. Push it real hard. Push it, push it real hard. And this is... My family's recipe. Don't steal my family's recipe. Don't y'all be stealing it. And trying to sell it in the stoves. I'm going to copyright this for somebody who not wrote a book. Ava, do you eat dressing? I never remember if you eat it or not. I just know you make it. All right. So for people that don't like turkey... Here's your alternative, adding the meat to your, and then I'm saving some of the meat for my pan of Jiffy, which I've let LT take over, because he was like, well, can I just make the other one? I was like, sure. All right, all right, so now you're just gonna push the chicken in there. There's probably another way that you guys want to do this. You do it. But this is the way that my mom taught me. And that's the way that I'm going to do it. You just push it down in there. Don't leave it. Which would indicate that Lisa came Don't mix it no more. And took off her shoes so she wouldn't just. Now, what were you going to say, babe? Does this person know them? Was it random? 
what was the purpose? Was the purpose the sexual assault or the murder? I wanted to ask how many people put, because a lot of people put, uh, Mother Nature throws a wrench into the industry. Gizzards and uh, oh, livers in. Hurricane Pantera is about to slam into the south. How many what? How many people put uh, gizzards or livers in their dressing? That's disgusting and do not put no gizzards in their dressing. Some people do. No, don't. That's got, southern don't, stuff. Yeah, well, we northern today. Don't put no gizzards in there. Don't. But this is yours. You said make that one Hours. <laughs> yeah, but. Hours. But this is your version, and that's my Don't version. Don't put no gizzards in there. You know how they say, you better put some water in that shit. Don't put no gizzards in there. <laughs> we are not adding gizzards. I'm going to finish pushing my chicken down with the fork. Don't mix it, guys. Don't mix it. Why? Because my mom said you're not supposed to mix it. You're just supposed to push it down in there. That's just what my mom said. That's what my mama said. So you got what Stella said is what you gotta do. I ain't complaining at all, except about him. This is my only day I like to cook. So we're gonna get ready to put this in the oven, but just push the chicken down there, and that is it. All right. So after just mashing it all in there, this is now ready to go in the oven. Oh my gosh, y'all, this is the final. It is so good. Mm. It came out exactly right. Okay, so now y'all can see my girl. I took my bonnet off. Oh, that dressing is good. Babe, I did that. Now we're waiting for the jiffy one to come out of the oven, and then y'all could see both of them, and then I'll let him taste it, and then, because he's going to give his honest opinion. All right, guys, so here is the Jiffy dressing. I had a spoon close to me instead of a fork, so I'm just gonna try this one, let's see. It's good. It just tastes sweeter, but it's still good. I don't see anything wrong with it. I think you could definitely use either or. My family just, hold on, Ray. My family just prefers regular cornbread. But, anyways, guys, we're gonna let Elle do a taste test. But I think it came out good. 